Hi there, in this video I'm going to explain how to work out uh, the equation of the plane. So in particular, firstly I'm going to show you the result, so how to derive the result in order to work out the equation of a plane. Okay, so let me title this equation of a plane. So let me take a red pen and a ruler, underline this. So let's have a diagram. So let me draw the axes. So the, this is the axes of the unit vectors i, j, and k. Um, so they're in the direction ox, oy, and oz respectively. Yeah. So and supposing if I have, so supposing if I have um, a plane. So let me draw a plane, a plane like so, okay? And supposing we have a vector perpendicular to the plane, okay? So let me call this vector perpendicular to the plane N. So N is a vector perpendicular to the plane, okay? Supposing I also have a fixed point on this plane. So if I have the position vector of A, of a fixed point A relative to the origin, so if the vector OA or the position vector of A relative to the origin is small a, okay? And if I also have the position vector of any point, so this P is any point lying on our plane. So if we have the position vector of any point lying on our plane P, let's call that R, okay? So, let me show you how to derive the result for the equation of the plane. Now remember, going back, n is a vector perpendicular to the plane. We normally call n the normal vector. So normal means a vector which is perpendicular. So n is the normal vector for the plane. So it's a vector perpendicular to the plane. So let me just say n that is a vector perpendicular to the plane that's what we call the normal vector okay and remember if we have the position vector of a fixed point a on our plane so if we have a vector oa which is given by the vector small a and remember the idea of p p is the position vector of any point on our plane okay so if OP, the vector, is small r. Now, in this case, let me calculate firstly the vector AP, okay? So AP will be OP minus OA, okay? And the vector OP, we know it's r, okay? minus the vector OA is A. However, remember, N is the normal vector, so N is a vector perpendicular to the plane. And in this case, since AP, so AP, uh, the vector we found to be R minus A, is perpendicular to N. So remember, one of the results uh, relating with the scalar product, if two vectors are perpendicular, the scalar product of them equates to zero. So since vector AP is perpendicular to the vector N, so to the normal vector N, then in this case, the vector AP, which is R minus A, dotted with the normal vector N, must equal zero, okay? Since AP is perpendicular to our normal vector n. So, if we uh, uh, simplify further, R dot n minus A dot n will equate to zero, okay? And if I rearrange, we'll have R dot n is equal to A dot n, okay? And I usually um, represent a dot n 
uh, by letter, uh, which I usually use as capital P. So um, if I take capital P to be A dot N, you could write this as R dot N is equal to capital P. So capital P is A dot N, okay? So this equation or this result over here is the equation of the plane in what we call scalar product form. Okay, so this is the scalar product equation of the plane. Okay, so that ends this video. Uh, I hope you found this video helpful. In the next video, I'll go through some examples uh, in order to show how this result is used. So I hope to see you then. Thank you.